Howdy everyone, Cub here. Welcome to episode 218 of the Let's Play, and today guys, we are going to go out to the Mesa Biome, and we are going to mine ourselves some clay. Because we need that to finish up the fireworks factory, which we started last time, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Head on out here, head to the nether through our cube portal, or something like that, I guess that's what it's called. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to head off to the Mesa Biome, get ourselves some stained clay. So guys, hopefully you had a happy Halloween. I know I had a pretty good uh, holiday myself. Uh, where I'm from, in the U.S. at least, um, uh, I'm in Illinois, and Halloween is pretty big around here. Uh, the town I live in, actually, we have like whole like city blocks blocked off for some houses because uh, there's so many people that congregate around them uh, because, you know, they basically turn their house into like a haunted mansion, and they put on like a whole big production of it. Like they buy costumes, they buy like animatronics that like move they buy fog machines and yeah basically they turn like a whole block into like a huge haunted house mansion type thing um so that's what i did to halloween i went to one of those with some friends and there's actually a couple of them uh around the city i live in uh which which is awesome uh and yeah they're just normal people who put like insane amount of efforts into um making halloween really cool and you know they have like live um live actors they're not really actors they're just like the people who live in the house but yeah they have like people like chasing you with chainsaws uh obviously with the uh the saw part of it taken off for safety reasons uh but they had you know like i went to one that had like um there was like a whole like cornfield that turned their front yard into a cornfield and then yeah there's a big smoke machine people were like grabbing at your ankles through the cornfield um they had like a, a little girl like screaming you must eat this and it was like a like a brain jello mold, uh, a pretty good, like huge, like brain jello mold, pretty good size one. Uh, the fog machine, they had like projectors in the windows showing zombies clawing at the windows. They had, yeah, like I said, animatronics in the yard. Um, it was pretty amazing, I have to say. There were probably, um, yeah, a couple hundred people in this in this one block we went uh, went to, and same in a couple other regions we went to. So Halloween's kind of a big deal where I'm from. Uh, I know a lot of you guys around the world are like, what's Halloween? Why do you guys celebrate this? It's kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of a fun um, a fun holiday to uh, participate in. Because, like, all the other holidays, you know, you get together with family and stuff. But Halloween is just, just for the fun of it, you know. There's no, like, reason to do it. It's just, you do it because you can. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was a really fun Halloween experience. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And, uh, yeah, let me know how your Halloween went. Let me know if you dressed up as something. I dressed up as generic generic 80s dad. <laughs> so I had a big mustache. Uh, let me go ahead and put down this. I had a big mustache. I had big aviator sunglasses on. It was pretty good. Pretty good costume. Uh, some people thought I was like, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bill, what's the guy's name from Saturday Night Live? Played by Chris Farley. Bill Schwartzky. Of Bill Schwartzky super fans, Dob Bears, that guy. <laughs> Some people thought I was that guy because I had those, those same type of sunglasses on. Uh, and yeah, also some people thought I was like DB Cooper, the uh, the the FBI uh, most wanted guy from the 70s or whatever when he hijacked a plane and jumped out in the middle of the night uh, in the Northwest U.S. <laughs> so some people thought I was DB Cooper, uh, but yeah, it was a good time. I thought I had a pretty good costume on and. Uh, yeah, I saw some really cool cost costumes, saw some Minecraft costumes, like I saw a creeper, I saw a spider, <laughs> some stuff like that, that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let me know how your Halloween went, guys, and yeah, just continuing to mine up some clay here, and yeah, we will get enough, and we'll make up the fireworks factory. Okay guys, so we're at the fireworks factory now, and I've sort of laid out exactly how I want this thing to look now. Got the appropriate dimensions and everything, so the whole building is 41 blocks long, I believe. And, yeah, I sort of determined where we're going to put some stuff. Um, so, first of all, yeah, obviously you guys know the firework factory from last time. This part's pretty much done on the inside there. Uh, but on the outside, we want to make a firework uh, shape just like this. So, just like this thing. Um, so, yeah, that means we have to have, obviously, the, uh, the red and white on the outside, uh, which will be, like, covering this redstone and the, the main part of the factory here. Uh, so we need that, we need the tail, uh, so the tail will start, yeah, pretty much right here, and head down this direction, and then come back a little bit and out this way. Uh, I think that'll be made of black stained clay, because if you look at it, uh, look at this texture, it looks like it's sort of black stained clay texture. Um, 
back here, and this is going to be like the testing area. Uh, so we need a big window here so we can launch fireworks out that way towards Zera Zera. Uh, so we can see what they look like. And there will also be, you know, other other testing mechanisms here. Uh, out in the front, for the tip, uh, I sort of laid down some blocks here. I think I want to have the entrance right here. Uh, so right here is where you'd, like, walk in. And then I want to have, like, a, a trip wire that activates. Maybe going from, say, here to here or so. And whenever you walk past this, I want something like this to happen. So we have these little fireworks that don't have much of an explosion. But I want those to basically just go just like that. So it's like a, yeah, that you get the particle effect, but not the boom. Uh, and yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. I think that'd be really awesome. Um, so that's the plan. And yeah, obviously I got a bunch of red stained clay and white stained clay for the body of this thing. And I'll get some black stained clay made up and... Uh, some hardened clay probably for the front. Uh, but for right now we got to sleep because we don't want any bad stuff sneaking up on us. But that's the plan. So now we just got to make it happen. So yeah, I'll cover all this stuff up. And yeah, I'll show you guys some of the, uh, the builds we do in here as well. Okay guys, so as you can tell here, I went ahead and added some stained clay around this fireworks factory, and it looks like this from above. So it looks like a giant firework right there. Uh, if I come to the front here, you can see we went ahead and went with the brown stained clay here, uh, just like this in the, uh, the tip of the firework. And we'll come on the outside here. The outside doesn't look great, but it doesn't look too bad either. It looks like a firework on its side, a giant firework on its side, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and then down here we have the wick. Uh, wick sort of comes out and then comes down this direction and then sort of meanders back around the river area over here. So yeah, looks pretty good. And yeah, I think uh, obviously it doesn't look exactly like the firework. So the firework is actually a lot longer um, in reality. But this looks like a just like a giant firework. So I think it works for us. I think it works for us. So now what we have to do is we have to actually do the floor. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe some polished granite for the floor. So I'll just make some of this up just like that. There we go. And one more. Perfect. So yeah, I'm thinking polished granite for the floor. And I think we'll have this snow, um, yeah, come out one more block here. Uh, so it'll be like up to about right here. And we'll just have like, a, like an iron door leading back into the redstone here. Because I was going to put glass here. As some of you suggested, but I think it looks better. It would look better if we just covered it up, to be honest with you. Um, so we'll do that there, and then we'll add the launchers and the, the launcher up front. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start to dig out some stuff here. And yeah, let's go ahead and put down some granite, and then we'll get started on the, the launchers and everything like that. All right, so we got the floor down now, uh, polished granite, and we got the walls of snow up, and we also put some doors back here so we can just come on in here easily, walk up these steps, and then access these chests whenever we want to. So that's how we're gonna refill them. Uh, I was, you could put automated system on this to refill it, but in this case, I don't think it's really worth it. Um, it's just better to do it manually. So now let's go and go ahead and go to the front here. Uh, I want to go ahead and put in the front system right now. Uh, so this front system here, it's going to consist of two droppers. Uh, They're going to be right here facing upward. And what we're going to do is we're going to have something like this. We're going to have a torch here, right there. We're going to have a dust on this block there. And then we'll have a dispenser facing upward. So this is just a... A special case of my ender pearl dispenser right here, looking upward. And we'll put some firework rockets in there, and we'll put a tripwire hook right there. We'll come on over here to the other side, do the exact same thing. So we're just going to dig this out, dig this out, there we go. Torch there, dust here, and then dispenser right on top like that. 
And we'll put firework rockets in this one as well. Tripwire hook there, and then we need string. Just like that. Let's make sure. Yep. <laughs> sure we didn't get that. There we go. So yeah, that's what's going to happen when we walk in. <laughs> uh, right there, you saw it. So now, yeah, I'll just walk across it. So yeah, we get those little particle effects on the sides. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's what we got there. That's that <laughs> that part, part of it done. And now we're going to work on the test facility back here. So we're going to add a couple of slime block launchers here. Okay guys, so what we're going to do here in this testing area, we're going to have two launchers, I've decided. One single firework launcher and one multi-firework launcher, both go in this direction. And then we're going to have uh, sort of an area here where we can actually see the firework. Uh, so we have the, you know, the black stain clay, and I, I brought the wick down a little bit here, so it's now sort of at the ground. So it looked kind of weird before when it was sort of hanging there, but yeah, now it's down on the ground. Uh, and that's, yeah, for all, all sections of the wick. Uh, so let's see if I can get back in here by just jumping up. Up and in. Nope. One more time. Second time's a charm, right? Here we go. Whew. Oh, there we go. Okay, I made it. So that's where we're going to view our fireworks, right here in the wick. <laughs> and then over here we'll have, like, a uh, area where we can view the particles. So we'll have, like, a little particle tester over here. So uh, let's go ahead and build the first launcher here. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a dispenser uh, in the ground. And I think we're going to space these out so that there's one like here. And the other one will be like there. I think that would be pretty good. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll have dispenser facing upward in the ground, actually. Right there. Uh, we're going to have a button right on top. So basically this is where we're going to put our fireworks, right here. And we'll have repeater on four, repeater on one, block here, and that's going to go into some dust. We'll have a sticky piston there with a slime block on it, just like that. And then we're going to need an obsidian right there. And that's it. We're done with that one. So let me sleep through the night here, and I'll show you show you this one in action. We'll make a simple simple firework here. Okay, so the way this one works is very straightforward. We just put it simply right in here, hit the button, and it launches it off. Boom, right there. <laughs> so that's pretty straightforward how it works. Yeah, not really much to it at all. So yeah, this gives us pretty good indication of like how it, how it looks without having to do too much. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so now we'll go on to the next uh, launcher. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to build is actually a multi-firework launcher. So this one's a little bit more complex, but it's still not too bad. Uh, you see I've already dug out a little area down below, because uh, I sort of pre-planned where I'm going to build this. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and place down two dispensers. One right here, one right here. These are going to be the firework launchers right there. And then down here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and place down some stone bricks, because that's what we're going to use for... Yeah, the redstone as always. So we'll place, uh, yeah, red, redstone dust right there. And then we're going to need torch right here and right here. And so, yeah, you can see sort of what we're going to use this for. Um, it's going to use the torch burnout trick, which I use frequently. Uh, it's probably the most useful trick in Minecraft. Uh, but for some reason, other people don't really use it that much. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I find it insanely useful, so we're going to use it here. Um, so we also need some more polished granite at the back. And here we're going to put down another sticky piston, just like that. Slime block right there. And then again, another obsidian block uh, similar to the, in the single launch right here. So that's that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so now we need something that will power this uh, until we hit that button. So we're going to go ahead and put down a polished granite right here. Actually, no, we'll put down... Put down a yeah stone right there, and then torch here, and the polished granite right here will then lock that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll also now need stone brick there, and stone brick there. So these should now be working as long as we can hook this thing up here. So let's see, we need to just do something like this, like that. I think that should work. Perfect. Okay, let's see how many this, this thing shoots out. 
We put 16 in there. There we go. So both of them fired out, and it shot out 10. So it's going to shoot 10 fireworks at a time. So that should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's that part of it done. Um, so now we have the fireworks coming out here. Uh, we'll probably put like carpet. Let's just do that right now. Let's put carpet on top there. Let's see. Do we have any with us? Yeah, we can make... Oh, we got some of us. Yep. Uh, let's use some red carpet, let's say. So we'll just put that right there. Perfect. And then we need to go ahead and make sure this piston fires. So to do that, uh, we're going to have something like this. So I want to have this piston fire after like a like a 14 second delay or so. So we'll go ahead and put torch there. Uh, we'll need another torch under here powering it. Just like that, so it's off by default. Let's see if we can capture this back. This should be. Come on back, guy. What the heck? Alright, well, <laughs> this slime block didn't want to move. Let's move it back manually. There we go. Alright, now we'll move it back manually. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got that now, and then we just need some stone brick right here. And let's see, we're going to have one, two, three block, and then one right here, too, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Just fill in the rest of this right here, because we don't need this stuff. All this we can fill in, all this. And yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, so then we just need to put in our repeaters. So repeater, 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 repeater. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and test it out now. Let's grab some fireworks. Uh, let's, let's make some different ones. Let's make a trail, trailing magenta. Let's try that. Magenta and black. Yeah. And make it. <laughs> there we go. Just wait a second here. All right. Three, two, one, fire. Nice. So it makes like a little trail all the way down, like, shooting out like that. And I'm not sure why this does that. This shouldn't stay there. Oh, I wonder if it's the carpet. I wonder if that's what's going on. Is that what's going on? Yeah, it was the carpet. Okay. So we're just not, we're not going to have the carpet there, I guess. That's cool. Okay, so we already saw the multiple fireworks launcher right here. Uh, and I also went ahead and made this uh, section here. So this one, we just get in here. This actually has a smart dispenser here, and these hoppers lead actually right to the dropper. And you see if anything is in the dropper, then it uh, basically outputs it. So we can put as many items as we want in there. And it just outputs them all uh, slowly over time. And the way this works is we have a little bit of redstone back here that handles everything. So we got a compare down subtraction mode. The signal comes through this block around like this. And then it powers the dropper and also uh, locks the... Uh, yeah, locks the comparator. So that's how that works. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to go ahead and just cover this back up here. Put this back and make sure this works. So if I place some fireworks in here. Yeah, so we can see, yeah, you can see the, the particles there. So yeah, exactly what I wanted there. All right, guys, and before I uh, show you guys the rest of the building that I have been working on, some of the decorations and stuff, uh, I want to show you guys this. So I've redone the redstone for this uh, based upon a user's suggestion. So first of all, I've raised up this um, piston clock here so that now whenever we break a carpet that's on this, we can directly, yeah, just change the uh, number of fireworks we get. So I'm going to keep it at 8 right now. So it's 9 minus 1 is 8. So that's the number of fires we get right now. I uh, changed this up a little bit as well. And over here, uh, I went ahead and put in a smart dropper here because I want to have the items put directly into my inventory instead of having to reach into a chest here. Um, so that's what we did uh, right here. And let's see, I think we are good to go on this actually. Uh, the only thing I want to do is I want to grab, let's see, some glowstone. <laughs> And we're going to put this glowstone right here. Because it doesn't transmit power. Whoops, too far down the line. Let's see. Silk touch, yeah. Let's see, yep, that, that worked good. <laughs> nice little test there for that. 
Um, okay, so let's get up here. And we want to make sure that this functions properly. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and test this out. So, let's try... Let's try a purple... Dark green... With a one, a two lift, and... A star shape. I think that should be good. So, let me make sure I have some inventory space here. Just gonna dump some of this stuff off. Um, yeah, I think that should be good. Should give us enough space, I think. We'll dump off the rest of this stuff here, too. Okay. Well, let's test it out. Here we go. So, we should, again, get these coming directly out here. There we go. Good. So, again... Okay, perfect. So yeah, it actually gave us the right amount of stuff, so we just need eight of those. And then we specified the two power, and yeah, that works. Okay. Okay, guys, so now we have the fireworks factory fully complete, so let's go ahead and head on in and take a look. So first of all, we made this path uh, sort of join up to the fireworks factory. The outside of this is kind of bland, but most factories are, so no worries there. Uh, we come inside here. Yeah, obviously we got the pressure plate. Helps the uh, door close behind you. We got an anvil, crafting table, comparator, some button action. Uh, we got some paintings on the walls, some cobwebs, furnaces, benches. Of course, we also have this when you cross uh, this, this row of blocks right here. More benches. Uh, I put some sand in the corners here because I think like sand might blow in through that door, uh, through this door right here and then accumulate in the corners. So I thought that made sense, so I put that there. We got an ender chest, some regular chests, and of course, like I said, the paintings and the cobwebs. Uh, this portion here, this portion we, uh, you guys have seen before, I did add another uh, plus one lift level, uh, lift lever here, rather, uh, because we couldn't make the small fireworks that will go in here before, so we couldn't make these, just the regular firework rockets. Uh, but now we can since I added this, uh, but typically you keep this, keep this, uh, flick down. Uh, we also, yeah, now have the bit here, uh, with the carpet, uh, underneath the carpet, I should say, and this specifies the amount of items you want, so, yeah, I, I keep it at 8 right now, but say I wanted, let's say 16, so I'd bump that up to 17, so 17 minus 1 is 16, so that give me 16, and let's just test this out, make sure it's working, so let's do a cyan... And let's do a twinkle, is that right? Yeah, twinkle uh, with two lift level. And let's just try this out. And yeah, I covered this with carpet as well. So we should get all of our items here. Let's just see what happens. And again, we should get enough for 16 with a two lift level. And there we go. Okay, so cyan, twinkle. Very nice. There's that. And then two lift level with the paper. Yep, so it is working properly. Fantastic. Okay, good deal. So, that's the uh, the firework factor there. The launchers. Uh, if we just hit this button. See, so that one works perfectly right there. Uh, if we put some in here, we got, looks like we got a couple in here. Let's just go ahead and fire this off. There's our multiple fireworks launcher right there. Makes like a, like a, yeah, <laughs> sort of like a streak across the sky. Uh, we put one of these in here. See, this is working just fine. There we go. And this is like our testing chamber. I also put up a firework launch, firework charge, do not use in launchers sign. <laughs> Got some more paintings in here as well. Um, yeah, this thing here, if I toss one of these in there, we can see, yeah, all the effects of that. I can even toss a few in there if I want to. Just like that. And yeah, you get the beam effect. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that. I also put up some fireworks factory rules and regulations. So all, most, all villagers must agree and sign waiver before using this facility. No exceptions. In case of an emergency, contact someone who can fix it. <laughs> uh, no running in the facility, no fighting, no animals. No putting fire charges into launchers to, quote, have some fun. <laughs> uh, no testing after midnight due to no noise concerns. Never use the multi-launcher alone. No, really. Don't. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the, uh, the rules of the facility. Obviously got some chests here, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and of course, we can get in the back here if we are 
sort of ninja parkour right there. So you can do that too to get in. So yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so that's going to be it for the fireworks factory. Hopefully you guys like that. Uh, next time we'll move on to something else in this brown section. I think we still have the dog houses and the shepherd's house. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, uh, feel free to let me know. But for right now, we're going to head back to the house, go down to the mine shaft, and see what today's highlighted channel is. All right, guys, so today's highlighted channel is Hugo B. Designer. So last time, Hugo said we should go ahead and make a fireworks factory that can, uh, we can specify the number of fireworks we want crafted up, and also make a system to where it puts the uh, drops right into our inventory instead of going to a chest first. So that's what we did this episode uh, over at the fireworks factory. Got that all nice and spiffied up. Uh, so thanks for the suggestion, Hugo. And I've actually already dug out the mine shaft, and we got the following resources. So since we got seven diamonds, that puts Hugo on top of the Fortune 3 leaderboard for the moment. And that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.